When TaylorMade launched the original RBZ uh, this time last year, I don't think there was a single golfer on the planet that didn't at least sit up and take notice. It was uh, a massive launch for TaylorMade uh, and the success of the RBZ, particularly the three wood, but also the driver as well, um, has proved um, phenomenal really. And so it was no surprise to us to see uh, the new RBZ feature some sort of small tweaks and um, some improvements, but to really stay in the range much as it was last year. So here it is, this is the RBZ stage two. Uh, and as you can see from the head, head cover, the um, big sort of colour story here is yellow. They've um, brought some yellow accents into the, um, into the crown here and there's also some on the sole. Now just like the predecessor, the main story here is about power. Um, so you've got the, the head has been designed to be slightly more aerodynamic and the shaft is a little bit lighter. So that combination should really help golfers find those few extra miles an hour of club head speed at impact that should translate into a little bit more yardage. There is also some adjustability in the RBZ driver, which is great for, at the price point that it's at, but it's nowhere near as, um, as advanced as what you'll find in this year's R1. The R1 has really been designed to help players tweak and, and just to find exactly what they're looking for from their driver. This is more of an um, easy, easy adjustability, but just fine-tuning loft really to make sure that you get the flight that you're looking for. The other thing worth talking about is the uh, graphics on the top of the club. Now, a little bit like the um, R1 this year, it's a little bit more fussy on top. Um, the RBZ features um, two lines that kind of converge to help bring the eye towards the middle of the club face. So just to help players, A, with their alignment, and B, just to concentrate on the centre of the club face, which could um, be a positive for some people. It, it is a little bit fussier than we've had last year, but um, for me to look down on doesn't look anything that I wouldn't be able to use. Um, you'll be able to find more details about the RBZ Stage 2 range, both the driver and the three wood, in the latest issue of Golf Monthly. Alternatively, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be the first to see our full test reviews.